No bread is the staff of life. It's always fun to make bread. I like to use, if I can get it, usually organic bread flour. And you can see that this one has proofed. I mean, basically bread is flour, water, a dash of salt. You have to let it proof a couple of times. This one has been proofing. Then you break it down to deflate it. I'm going to use a bit of flour on this. And of course, it can be shaped in any, any old way. You know, it's a question of uh, imagination. And uh, so I want to cut a piece of dough on my baguette. Piece of dough for the AP. Other one can be made into individual roll. So what you want to do is to really try to tighten that dough, bring it back on itself a couple of times to make a seam underneath. I'm going to put the dough to proof. You can even put a bit of uh, cornmeal underneath, which is a good idea for the crust underneath. If you want to do an AP here on this one, you can cut it with a scissor, you would go almost to the end. Of the bread and cut it like that to bring it on the side. Okay. And this of course has to proof before you can score it and put it into the oven. And very often I put something on top like this let it proof for an hour, an hour and a half before you put it into the oven. Again, when the dough has risen a couple of times, you can bring it on itself like that to give it more body. You know, turn it upside down or you can do it from the top. The seam is always underneath. To prepare a large bread, what we call the gros pain, you know, the big bread which is often what we do at home. Again, maybe a bit of um, cornmeal underneath. This has body now. We put, put it there and it has to proof again. So cover it with something which fit, which will give space, space for it to inflate. And then when it kind of double in volume, you can mark it and put it into the oven. You know, when the dough has proofed again, it's ready to go into the oven. You can see this one when I move it like this. It's soft. It's nicely proof. I like to put a little bit of flour on top of it. Even on this. Give it a country look. And then I use a uh, serrated edge knife to cut through it. You know, like three times here, you can see. And on the baguette, again, four or five times. Usually where one line finish, the other one start. And when I put it into the oven, I spray a little bit of water in the oven to start the steam and start the crust. It make a thicker, better crust. The bread is still hot from the oven here, but you see it has a nice texture. It's aerated enough. And certainly, the big bread here is really hard and the way it should be, but again, it's very hot out of the oven. Ooh, it's hot. 
I can't think of eating any meal without bread.